In this lesson, we'll cover the copy function. This is a button on the control panel that once pressed will make a copy or multiple copies of the last job that was sent to the cutter. To use the copy function, a job first has to be sent to the cutter. Once the job is cut, it remains in the buffer. The copy function can use that data to cut more copies. Let's use this function and press the copy button. In the copy menu, there are three options. When the first option, media change mode, is enabled, it will stop the cutter after each copy is completed, allowing for the media to be switched. This is helpful when you are cutting sheets of media rather than a roll. Let's press the escape key to return to the previous menu. The second option sets the number of copies to be cut. In this case, we will set the number to three. This will add three more copies to the original copy. Once again, let's press the escape key to return to the previous menu. The third option sets the spacing between each copy. In this demonstration, we can keep the value as is. Let's press the escape key to exit this menu. As a caution, prior to sending the copies, you may have to set the origin to a new location or the copies will cut right over the first copy. Finally, press enter to start the process of cutting copies.